I found the cutest outfit and I'm really excited. I was saving it for more of like a date night type of thing, but I'm in a phase where I'm just like, nah, I need to stop saving outfits for date nights. Ah, 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 ah. If I want to wear, I'm wearing today. So I'm getting ready to do my makeup and I'm thinking, like I'm envisioning maybe like some pretty soft glam, like how I did the other night. And I don't know, she was eating. She was giving me like, yes, I'm rich and posh. Oh, you see the vision? So that's what we going for. I think that I think that's what we gonna do today. I swear, my new skincare regimen for makeup now has been eating. I have been loving how my makeup has been laying. I swear, gently exfoliating the skin before makeup, like you cannot, you cannot tell me that exfoliating does nothing because it does a lot. And honestly, I'm loving applying everything on wet skin just because it works so much better. Everything kind of just melts and blends together. And honestly, all of this just feels really therapeutic to me these days. I have been in this phase of solitude for a while and it's like I've been doing a lot of me time. I've been doing a lot of reflecting. I've been doing a lot of reevaluating and thinking and stuff like that. And the only times that I really be feeling at peace now is basically when I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> if y'all don't know what these are, okay, and I'm really hoping that the camera is focusing, if y'all don't know what these are, you need them. Game changer, okay? Especially when it comes to getting that buttery, smooth skin. Yeah, you need it. Presently, I'm in my chest that I'm not getting the same numbers that I was getting before and I'm really uncomfortable about that because then I'm constantly wondering, are brands still going to want to work with me because, you know, I'm not getting the same engagement. Ah, 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 ah. But it's just like every single time I'm in a phase or a season of self-doubt, that's when literally out of thin air, something always lands in my lap and they're just like, oh, they want to gift me something or they're trying to email me and say, hey, like, you know, yeah. we really like what you do and we want to go ahead and, you know, ask for your pricing for this type of video. Ah, 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 ah. So it's just like, just remember, every single time you're in a phase of doubt, something is coming, exactly. Every single time I've questioned myself, I've questioned my value, I've questioned whether or not I should even continue. Something always comes out of thin air and it's just like, I told you. You're impatient, but I told you. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, mm. and I know your taste is a little bit, mm, high maintenance, mm. everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis, with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in the dark, okay, I think we good, I look cute, yeah, let's go ahead and get dressed, lately, I've been loving Illuminator for the girls, should I even, hey, bruh, hey, I put too much, okay, well, we're already here, child. I did oh, okay, I put too much. Oh, okay. Nah, <laughs> y'all, look what I did. I did too much. I am a joke. Okay, but it's blending though. Titties is tittying up. This is a reminder to myself, as well as the people who are like me, who are at least a C or D cup and up. Corsets are not for us, but at least the ones that don't have support because the way my breasts want to pour out of this top, this is the first time I'm wearing this top and I'm over it. At least I look pretty dope. Alright. Thank you all again for coming. This time I won't cry. Um, as the night is concluding, I just wanted to say a big old thank you to everybody who came out for me. This shows me how much love I truly have in my life. Um, I'm excited for my next adventure and um, yeah, I can't wait till everybody comes visit me. Yeah. Yeah. This is to new life.
buddy, you look good. No, that's twinning, no key. Two hours later. Y'all didn't sweat my wig off. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. Wow. Okay, let's get into the fact that even though I sweat my wig off, the face did not move. Outside of like these little imprints that just formed because I'm wearing my glasses, which even then it's really not that bad because if I just simply go like this, it's basically gone. Yo, your girl cracked the code. Wow! Going to this going away party really put it into perspective for me when it comes to the fact that I really am socially awkward. So if I don't have anybody that I already know, it's kind of like, I'm just not gonna be interactive. And I'm kind of starting to see that as a problem because I feel like that won't benefit me. But at the same time, it's kind of like, okay, so how exactly do I break this habit, right? <sighs> and I had a good time. Because now that I think about it, going away parties means good food. Gilda did not touch the food because I was too busy catching up with some old friends um, from like undergrad and, you know, just walking down memory lane. And I was honestly so honored because, you know, the person that I was catching up with, he's somebody that him and I were really close when we were in school together. And, you know, we used to take care of each other like siblings. So the fact that, you know, him and I haven't spoken in years and the second he saw me, he was just actually so excited to see me. That actually made me feel really good. And I don't know if it made me feel extra good because of the fact that I feel like I'm craving um, not necessarily attention, but just like affection and feeling wanted or essentially needed. But it was just really nice because he was honestly really happy to see me and then he was even so proud to introduce me to his partner and I'm just sitting here like wow like you actually like me I think that's something that I've been struggling with lately like I feel like I've been doing a lot of questioning when it comes to people around me and my space because I am someone that's very to myself and I think it's just you know out of habit because I am an only child so I hold on to myself very tightly because at the end of the day, I do feel like all I have is myself. So out of habit, I am very protective of myself. And it's just like, dang, like I've been feeling really lonely when it comes to grieving and just trying to factor or essentially figure myself out. Because I feel like I'm in a phase right now where I'm trying to figure out who I am and what I want and what I need out of life right now. Obviously, I have goals. I have things that I want to do but i've been questioning myself a lot as far as okay well what do you need and how can we fulfill those needs and what do you want and how can we get what you want without you know doing it in a toxic manner or hurting other people just to get it type of thing if that makes sense i'm really sitting here just thinking to myself like wow like it actually feels really nice um to have people who you know who have known me for as long as they do and they genuinely like being around me and they appreciate me as a person and they don't look at me like someone who's awful. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I feel like I've been getting a lot of that lately and I don't fault anybody because at the end of the day you can't tell people how to feel but I have really been feeling like <laughs> people don't look at me like some feelings which is crazy um I don't really show my emotions often so it's kind of just like okay like I'll give you the benefit of the doubt I guess like I'm not someone that's always reactive but I don't know mm, enough of that crying anyway I'm about to go to bed good night y'all <laughs>